As the month of April begins, the eruption at the summit of Kilwe enters its sixth month, and the effusion remains steady. Active lava now persists at the summit even during deflationary trends in tilt, whereas before it would disappear from view. All recent activity has been confined to the crater within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and there are no indications of activity migrating elsewhere. A recent overflight by Tropical Vision's video provided an overview of the evolving eruption. Lava is pouring out from a vent into an active lava lake and onto the crater floor. More recently, scientists with the U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory captured a closer view of the same activity. This video was recorded on March 24th. It shows lava from the main lake pouring down into a smaller lake in the western portion of the crater. On March 29th, scientists captured more views of the lava lake, which occupies a little over 2% of the surface of the entire crater floor. Spattering was present along the margin. Lava could also be seen pouring from a small cone in the northeast portion of the crater. The observatory also documented crustal foundry in the pond and lava on the crater floor. Segment by segment, cool lava crust on the surface of the lake is overridden by less dense liquid from below, causing the crust to sink into the underlying lava. Scientists say the density-driven crustal foundering leads to surface renewal and occurs repeatedly throughout the life of a lava lake. On that same day, a webcam recorded spattering from a cone that developed on the surface in the eastern part of the crater. USGS says the presence of these features demonstrates that molten material is present beneath the solidified surface. Volcanic tremor remains above background levels and the sulfur dioxide emission rate has been measured at approximately 3,000 tons per day. For now, the Kilauea Volcano Alert level remains at watch and the aviation color code is orange.